नमस्ते गाइस वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इफ़ यू आर न्यू हेयर माय नेम इज़ प्रतीक सिंह एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वन ऑफ माय पर्सनल प्रोजेक्ट्स व्हिच आई हैव बीन वर्किंग ऑन दिस डेज व्हिच इज़ अ पावरशल मॉड्यूल फॉर अजोर कॉग्नेटिव सर्विसेज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट इज कॉगनेटिव कॉगनेटिव मीन्स टू अक्वायर नॉलेज और टू अंडरस्टैंड समथिंग सो माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वाई अजोर provides a set of restful web apis which can provide some cognitive abilities like image analysis computer vision searching internet describing image text analysis and, and, and a lot of other things the complete module is hosted as a project on github and you can use this url to access it i'll be also providing this url in the description below If you want, you can go go to this page and just check out like how everything works and what are the functionalities available to this module. Take this module is also available on PowerShell Gallery, which is still under development. But if if you want to install this module locally on your machine, you can run the command and install the module PS Cognitive Services, and it will do the needful. All right, let let me switch switch to my Visual Studio Code editor. and show you how it actually works to use this module first you have to install and import this module so let me just go and run an install module for you like you can see in this console it has started to install the module and it's downloading the packages from powershell gallery Once the installation is complete, like I will import this module into my current session. By importing module, a lot of functionalities is now available to your session, like get image analysis, get image text, which is also called optical character recognition, search web, search internet, detect languages, identify a sentiment. in a text and few more things like that but to start using this module you have to first subscribe to these cognitive services in your azure portal there are two ways to do that first is to go manually to your azure portal and try to create cognitive services account for these services but my module also provides a command it called new cognitive service account which can be utilized to create these cognitive services in an automated fashion in azure portal so let me just quickly show how it works so i'll run these two commands to create cognitive service account for face api and computer vision api which i would be using later in a sample below so i'll run these commands and you will see it is just for now it is testing my azure login It has found that I am already logged in, and it now it is performing the operation of creating new service account for Face. In the same fashion, it will also run operation of creating new cognitive service account for computer vision. But I have filled these details already, like you can see, location, pricing tier, resource group. What if I am not aware, like? what is the pricing tier and what locations are available to overcome this situation you can just simply pass the account type name here which is the api which you want to access and run the command it in the console you'll observe the module automatically prompts you to fill in details and it gives you choices to enter these details are automatically getting fetched from your azure portal to your console so i'll for now i'll choose a resource group and a pricing tier and it will perform the operation for me now i can see my bing search subscription has been created in azure so let's switch back to my web browser and go to the azure portal to see if the subscriptions are already created there or not 
in the Azure portal, I hit refresh and it will show you the cognitive services accounts which you just created from your PowerShell console. All right, so now I have created the subscription, but I want to configure these services locally on my machine. By configuration, I mean these are the cognitive service account in your Azure portal, which have a subscription key attached to them. But how your commandlet will understand like which subscription key to use for the, that particular commandlet. So in order to locally configure, module also provides a commandlet called new local configuration, which fetches the, the subscription details from your Azure and it can configure these subscription keys in your current session and also add it to your profile. So I'll run this commandlet and let's see what happens. Like you can see in the console, it has found three service cognitive service accounts for Bing search face and computer vision. And it is now setting those environment variable in my current session, as well as it is adding the environment variables to my profile so that when I run a new session, all these subscription keys would be automatically loaded into my session. So we have installed the module, created the cognitive service accounts, and we have also configured them locally. So now in this example, I would be using one of the commandlets available in this module, which is search image which basically uses the Bing API to search image over internet. I'll be passing a keyword Jim Carrey to this commandlet and I will be requesting for 20 results. I've also provided a safe search strict, which means it would avoid like uh, some adult content or racy content uh, in my search results. So let's see what happens if I run this command. It is complete now. Let's see the results of the images variable. And like you can see, it, it just spit a lot of URLs. I think 20 URLs in my console. So the images variable now hold 20 URLs, which was searched using the keyword Jim Carrey. I'm assuming these are the pictures of uh, famous comedian Jim Carrey. So let's open one and see what has this. That looks good. So I'll go to my code editor again and I'll just try to walk you through my code and show you what I'm trying to actually achieve here. So I'm using each of these URLs with another command which is offered in my module which is called get phase to detect emotions and get the happiness score for each picture. Once I get the happiness score, I'm just trying to filter out all the images which have happiness score above 90%. Once I get that, I want to save my images with a unique or specific name. But to understand that what name I should give, I'm using another command that get image analysis to get a small caption of the image, depending upon the actual content in the image. Once I get the caption, I'll be using that to name my files and save it locally. Here is the small logic for that. In line number 38, you will see I'm simply performing an invoke web request on each of these URLs and depending upon the path we have created in above logic, I'll be saving these files. All right, so let's run this code and see what happens. I'll right click and run selection. Now you can see it has already started downloading the images and it, it is saving them for now in a temp folder. So I'll go to my temp folder and you will slowly see images are getting populated in this particular folder. If you look closely, you will see in some images, there is a number added just to avoid the override situation, which I discussed earlier. Since we are downloading these images 
from internet there may be few situations where you will see some exceptions and that is totally fine so guys that's all from my side this is how you can install import and configure azure cognitive services module written in powershell in your local session and perform various operations and capabilities if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel which is a motivation for me to create more such videos thanks for watching see you soon bye bye